Welcome back to Cheddar, everyone. Just do it. It's not only Nike's trademark slogan that many people have become familiarized with over decades, but it also embodies its mindset when it's entering new frontiers. The sneaker and sports apparel giant unveiled its latest basketball sneaker today. The Nike Cosmic Unity. It's designed to help athletes perform their best while minimizing their impact to the planet. This is Nike's first performance shoe made of at least 25% recycled content by weight. And joining us now for his first interview since the announcement, Noah Murphy Reinhartz, who is the Sustainable Innovation Lead at Nike. Noah, great to have you here on the show with us today. Been looking forward to this discussion uh, throughout the day. What was the biggest challenge of creating a sustainable sneaker that does not take away from performance on the court. Hey, Brad, it's great to be here. Uh, really excited to talk about uh, Cosmic Unity. You know, one of the things that was so important to us was to start where Nike always likes to start, on the very cutting edge. And so when we made Space Hippie a year ago, we brought a whole new suite of sustainable materials, uh, the highest recycled content and some of the most sustainable shoes we'd ever done. But we knew right away that we had to take that and expand it into that really intense crucible of sport and create something that would perform amazingly on the court uh, and not make people choose between something that looks good, something that is sustainable, and something that performs uh, just like uh, a beast on the court. Okay, so we talk about performance. Which athletes could we see the, the cosmic unity on? And kind of really embodying and showcasing that performance element of it. Yeah, well, you saw just towards the end of the year, uh, Anthony Davis uh, practicing out on the court in Cosmic Unity. And that is what really brings to life uh, some of the key challenges of taking these materials and putting them into high performance sport. Like here you have one of the biggest players out there really just like tearing it up in terms of speed, the pressures, the forces that they put uh, into a product, into a shoe. And we had to work with these materials in a whole new way to make sure that they would work for him, that they'd work for Aja Wilson and everybody else who was going to take this shoe out there and really perform at the highest level in it. And so when we're taking a look at some of the images, of course, naturally, the thing that comes to mind is, OK, this is an indoor sport in basketball that Aja Wilson and Anthony Davis have excelled in. And now they've got more equipment to continue uh, to put to the test on court. But then when you take an innovation like this and then you take it to even more fields, say outdoor sports as well, what considerations really come into the planning elements, especially as you kind of have to encounter the elements, the different weather conditions that athletes are going to be playing in outdoors when you take some of these same materials outside yeah really the amazing thing to do is to look at what a material naturally wants uh, to do and to give you and then embrace the challenges of those materials and so with cosmic unity we took the crater foam which is a high performance nike foam and we've included a whole lot of recycled content ground up rubber and in the case of Cosmic Unity, we had to take that foam and thin it out and bring the athlete down closer to the court mm. so that they could have more responsiveness, more resilience. When you think about adapting that for a sport like running, uh, you've got a totally different set of motion. And so as designers, we're always saying, what does the material want to do inherently? And then how do we take that and sort of bend it to uh, bend it to our will and turn it into something that gives the athletes exactly what they need. Certainly, okay. Uh, I've got to go rapid fire as we hustle to our finish here. But first and foremost, I got to ask: when you think about sustainability getting prioritized in the design and the production of other categories, you had Fly Ease going extremely viral earlier this week, uh, and then the Adapt line, of course, which many of our viewers will know as the self-lacing shoes. Also, you know, how does sustainability get prioritized, and at what stages in the process do you really make sure that that is top of mind? Yeah, I actually love this question because it speaks to what's so amazing about being a designer and an innovator at Nike. Uh, you know, we were working on the Space Hippie product a year ago when that launched, and right next to me uh, was the designer Haley, who was working on Go at the same time. And then to the other side of me was the designer James, who was working on Cosmic Unity. So 
we are cross pollinating these ideas of performance, of access, of sustainability at every stage in the process and really working across the organization to have people just embrace that and embed it in their thinking. So again, it's not this sense that you have to start a sustainable product line and then ask consumers to choose one or the other. We really wanna bring that to all the different product that we make so that when people choose Nike, they can make any choice of product they want and know that we're being responsible in the way that we're making it and that we're pushing the boundaries of performance with every product. We know price factors into that decision as well. Nike Cosmic Unity is gonna cost $150 when it becomes available globally on February 26th. Does sustainable production translate to lower costs for consumers in the future? You know, at the cutting edge, everything that we're doing with these materials is very new. And so we have to put just as much R&D and innovation into making these materials work and perform at the level that we want them to. Uh, so it doesn't inherently make the product more or less expensive. But as we start to take these experiments and iterate and scale, that's what Nike does really amazingly. We aren't creating an experiment that's only accessible to a few people. We're taking those materials and we're putting them in everything across our product line. So whatever kind of tier or style uh, of Nike product you like, you know that these innovations are gonna make their way into those products. Okay, if I can still dunk post pandemic in these shoes, you've got a buyer done. Noah Murphy Reinhertz, who is the sustainable innovation lead at Nike. Thanks so much for joining us here on the day, Noah. Appreciate the time.